going on, everyone? <clears throat> so, let's start with the fun stuff. The contest. Alright, so, this contest is, for those of you who saw my last video and were paying very close attention, I told you to watch it to be able to participate in this contest. Now, it's going to be kind of tricky. The prize is a $15 gift card to iTunes, alright? So, here's the contest. In my last video, I had three annotations. If you don't know what an annotation is, this is an annotation. Okay? I had three of them in my last video. What did the second one say? Now, in order to participate in this contest, you have to comment below in YouTube, not on Facebook, not on Twitter. Comment right below here and tell me exactly what my second annotation said. If you can be the first one to tell me the correct answer, you get the $15 gift card for my team. So, good luck! So the last time I did a video, um, I actually did a whole bunch of little snippets on um, photo booth on my computer. One of them didn't make it in. It was about Terrell Carter. If you don't know who Terrell Carter is, you will know because I'm actually going to play that, um, that video that I did. I was talking about how he was basically dragged out the closet by his ex. Um, and I got a, a little um, a link, an annotation in there to tell you, um, you know, if you want to go to his website and check out his music or whatever. But uh, this is, you know, what I had to say. So as many of you might have heard, Terrell Carter, um, if you don't know who he is, click here. He's a, um, a singer and he was in a lot of Taylor, Taylor Perry's um, plays. He was in Diary of a Mad Black Woman as the preacher and everything. Um, it was recently, well, he was recently outed by his ex-boyfriend, <clears throat> Bitter Queen. Um, but my thing is, um, I, I read his website and I read the comments on Twitter and Facebook or whatever about him. And, and all the girls are just upset and then people are calling him all kinds of names. And my thing is, who cares? This is 2009. Do we really care? I mean, what I'm trying to say is... The guy still can sing. I mean, if you go to his page, listen to his music, I mean, damn. The dude's got a voice. So, basically, what I'm trying to say, you know, is, um, as a society, we should stop basically holding these artists up to pedestals and expecting them to be something. And, you know, record companies should stop trying to mold artists into what they think is going to make money and let the artists be themselves. I mean, if a person has real talent, who cares how they live their life? You know, we should support them because they have a good song or a good voice. They really have talent, you know. My thing is, I don't care how you live. I don't care what you do. Um, I'm going to support you if you got good music. Anybody as excited as I am about Whitney Houston's new album coming out? Um, actually, next week. Yeah, it is next week. August 31st, her album will be out. Um, here's a picture. How many times have we riled and from tantrum? She looks absolutely fabulous, does she not? I mean, she has come a long way with, you know, you know the story behind Whitney Houston. I don't need to go there, but I mean, she looks like she is supposed to look. You know, she looks like she's matured. I mean, she is a, a woman of a particular age, but I mean, it seems as though her look has gotten more graceful. You know, she looks, she looks awesome in this. I have some rather crazy news to say about Whitney's album. It's rumored that Walmart is not going to sell her album. Where did I hear this from? Mediatakeout.com. Mediatakeout.com is my favorite place to go for gossip and, you know, a whole bunch of crazy things. I'm going to put the, um, you know, the website in the end credits, but can you believe what, you know, Walmart is doing? I think it's because, well, you know, Whitney Houston, uh, you know. <laughs> but come on, we move past that. People make mistakes, so what? The bitch can sing, you know. As Steve Harvey would say, "This heifer can sing." <laughs> there is a new trend in men's fashion, and it's pissing me off. Remember, I said I hate skinny jeans. Well, these motherfuckers took it one step further. Skinny jeans with rolled up cups at the bottom. What are these people in New York thinking? It looks... I said I wasn't going to say horrible anymore, but it looks crazy! Oh my god! Have you seen any 
somebody in skinny jeans that are rolled up. Oh, I, even gay people are doing it. It don't look cute on your body. It does not look good. It looks horrible. You look like a dirty, stinking porn star. Stop wearing them. Please. Please stop wearing skinny jeans. And especially the skinny jeans that are rolled up on the bottom or cut off. That's even worse because then you got the French. Ew, that's nasty. Please, no more. I can't. I can't. I, I can't. <laughs> so I got a new song playing in the background. It's called No Time by Just Jack. So how do I look today? Huh? How am I looking? I don't know, I'm feeling myself today. You ever have one of those days where you just put on your clothes and you look at yourself in the mirror like, mm, how I'm doing? <laughs> That's the way I feel today. I just feel, I feel like, I just feel like I look really good. You know, I'm pretty sure some of you out there have had those days too where you just put on your clothes and go, well, damn, I'm kind of looking kind of hot today. Like, I would do me. <laughs> Until I see you again, live, love, and pursue your happiness. Well, damn, how you doing?